Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Son of Mogef, it's 2 Video Tuesday. I'm playing Hydraneer right now. We got a sprinkler system set up last week, which is uh, all this along here. I I fell down, that's, that's what I did. Yeah, so I extended everything all the way out. We've still only got the tomatoes and the carrots. Uh, what did I do? I made a little bit of money between episodes. I've also got some contracts here f to deliver these soups, so I'm going to do that right away. I want to try and get enough money going for the hydro cropper and some of the other good things. Oh yeah, I'm going to need the other crops, aren't I? Who? Let's, let's just see what we can do with this. Oh god, I've got two oh, I, over there at Barnscroft. Got what, three over near Bridgeport, so I can take, I guess, the short way round eventually. <laughs> that makes any sense whatsoever. Let's go for a drive. Right, here's our first customer of the day. She wants a 14 tomato soup, which I'm positive that I've got. I parked so far away. What the hell is wrong with me? Uh, let's have a look. That's an 18. That's a 14. That's a 20. I'll just put that back there. And that's a 20. Why do I have two soups worth 20? I guess one is a 20 and one is a 19 and I just didn't want to make it exact. <laughs> Got lazy. Come have a gander. I sure am hungry. There we go. Uh, yeah, Thank just you. go ahead and throw my bowl on the floor. I, I don't mind. I'm just going to make soup in that unwashed bowl and give it to someone else. I'm sure they won't get poisoned from it. Here we go. Just chuck that up there. I've got to go back for my bowl and then we'll... Hey up, lad. Drive over to the next customer. Business. Right, this guy wants a 19 tomato. I think all of my soups are actually tomato right now. So I was right. This is a 20. This was supposed to be at 19 or the other way round. And that's an 18. Right, let's give him this one. Hey, dude, pay me. 148 coins which isn't great but it's not too bad pop that down there and I'll just grab this oh combine damn you combine okay, co combine please there we go got there in the end I've got to go back for my bowl again I think I mentioned this previously I Really wish that we could carry coins in bowls, so we could just throw the coins that we get for the contracts in there and carry it all back in one go. I don't know where I'm going. Let's just have a quick look at the map. Uh, yeah, the last two were over in Barnscroft, so more driving. All right, this guy, it's another 18 tomato, which I think is this one. Yep, it's that one. 140 coins. Oh, look, there's the other guy, look. Going for a bit of a walk. Hey, dude, just, just stay there for a bit. I'll be right over with your food. Go and give this to... Where'd he go? Did he go through here? Yes, he did. Hey, Looking hey you, hey you, hey you. You made that soup yet? Oh, that's a different. That's a different. That's a different dude. Who am I giving this soup to? Hello, soup. Did I miss one over at Bridgeport? You watch. I bet I bloody did, didn't I? I guess that's fine. I can deliver this one. Oh, good God, you made me freaking jump. I got jump scared in bloody Hydra here. That's bizarre. That's 
Sarit Gradley Broth, that is. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I've got two bloody bowls to pick up, and of course you can only pick them up one at a time. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll get the contract from this guy before he wanders off somewhere inexplicable. There's a flying boot up here. It's probably from the mining episode. This one's tomato... tomato carrot corn. I like the way he's asking me if I've done it yet, and I mean, I'm stood right here two seconds after you gave me the contract. No, I have not done it. Can you do this for me? Have you done this for me? Dude, chill. Just, just calm. You can't be that hungry right this minute. He looks reasonably healthy. He's not going to starve to death. That would be kind of crazy if that could happen. I hope that never, ugh, never becomes a thing. Let's have a look. So, yeah, there's one in Barnscroft there that I've already done. There's a new one over in Bridgeport. Let's go and have a look at those while I am driving over to uh, the... N oh, God. Oh, God. While I'm driving over to the new place. And I'll maybe have a look. Yeah, I'll go over to the new place and uh, see if we can afford anything. Everything's pretty expensive over there, so I'm not entirely convinced I can. Look at this guy, look. Just chilling on a rock up there. Here's the hydro cropper. I need 2,680 coins for that. Damn, how much have I got? 1,800. Uh, not enough. To put it bluntly, let's go over to here. Don't know how much these new seeds are. However, let's find out. Uh, I want beetroots and a one broccoli and a one onions and I need carrot uh, not carrot corn carrot corn I need carrot corn it it's a hybrid that I invented 1003 yay yeah okay so I've got enough for those boop I need another 2,000 coins now for the bloody hydro cropper thing. I also want to get some automation going. Not entirely, <clears throat> not entirely convinced I know how I'm going to manage that. Let's just have a look at some of this other equipment I've got here. So we've got these. Compressed cut vegetables can only store one type at a time. I'm not entirely convinced i'm sure that i know what this does it says compresses cut vegetables but you can do that just by dropping them on each other i might get them just for aesthetics that's 480 god damn it definitely can't afford these have a look how much there's, there's six crops, isn't there? So if I get six of these... And I was just complaining I don't know what these things do. And here I am, planning on buying a whole bunch of them. Oh dear. How much is that? 1,400. I've got about a third of the funds that I need for that. I'm kind of tempted just to buy this, so at least I can plan something. Don't think I need any of these things. These. Let's just Wilhelm scream these into oblivion. There you go, last one. There we go. That's 480. Do you know what? I think I'm going to buy that. Just so I can, you know... Again, use it for 77 coins. We can use it for planning some kind of conveyor system that would do that stuff. Don't know if I'll do... I might do it in this episode, actually. It's going to take me a 
bloody ice age to do, but I can have these crops growing in the meantime. That could be uh, pretty awesome. Just trying to park this in a reasonably not stupid place. Took me ages to flatten all this out as well. It doesn't look bad. There's a few like divots here and here, but that, that steamroller thing, that actually works pretty well. Okay, so let's get some corn, get some beetroot. I, I thought I was picking up broccoli and it turned... It turned out to be uh, onions. That sprinkler system that I made is awesome and I love it. I did have a friend tell me that I could make this a lot smaller, but I forgot how they said I could do that. <laughs> Completely forgot. Anyway, yeah, it's not entirely important right now. So let me think. Right, I went and brought all this uh, random junk. It's not too random, but I I definitely not got things in the right amount. I'll, I'll work it out. So I want things to be here. Let me see if I can actually make this work. So if I get one of these and put it there, the... Uh, what's it called? The veggie compressor thing will eventually go here. What I'll do is I'll have one of these going that way. T-pipes. I need T-pipes. I know that I've got some somewhere. Yeah, I accidentally brought too many while I was extending this. I brought enough for uh, seven rows instead of six. I don't know why I did that, but Oh, hang on. There we go. I don't think it matters all that much. I'm going to end up building something ridiculous anyway, aren't I? Because it's me. So if I do that, I thought I brought the wrong versions of these, because these are... What are they? Yeah, these are the alt versions. Okay, right, so I need, what, six more of those. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, no, that's it. I need to bring this T-pipe thing over here, otherwise I'm just going to keep running backwards and forwards. Ooh, my crops have grown. Yay. No, I'll do one of... Uh, uh, one of them. <laughs> That can go there. Let's get all these T-pipes in place first. I don't know why I'm building it in reverse. I guess I just, you know, am. What is that? That's five. This is, this is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. If I'm going to have this as a kitchen, I might have to shuffle all of this back. Or I can just have a little, like, path through there. Not a problem, really. Okay, right. Stop waffling, son of Mogaf. Do that. And then I can put all those conveyors in there. I want centralizers on them because of, you know, the reasons. Like this. So let's... Why do I always do it in the most cack-handed way possible? There we go. those in there, then I need, I need to put those there? Looks correct to me. Whether it is or not is an entirely different matter. But... Okay. I haven't... I haven't thought about how I'm going to power this either. I brought one of these things. I guess I'm going to put it there? Oh yeah, I could just pull a line off here, couldn't I? Bring it round? Wow, that actually makes some sense. 
Again, I planned to move this anyway. That's not going to be... Yeah, that's not going to be an issue. I could even move this over to here and get rid of all these superfluous pipes. Hmm. Look at me go. Let's uh, pop these on here. Not that way, son of Mogaf. Oh my god, it's just occurred to me. Can you put these next to each other? Oh, so let me think. I want another two conveyors here, one there, and one here, like so. Like, yeah, like that. And then I'll have the centralizer. <laughs> My god, this is a thing, isn't it? Centralizer there. And where's my choppery chopperage? It's here. Pick it up, pick it up, there we go. Yeah, so the veggies will come through here, get centralised, get chopped, and then get sorted as they go through here. That makes sense to me. Then I need another tea pipe. My god, I've got a plan in my head that seems to actually be working. <laughs> the shocking and the horroring of it all. Yeah, so if I put that like there, I could perhaps... What was I going to do? This is... This is... Oh no, no, this is correct, look, because I wanted to... <laughs> Good god, it's my plan, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I do something like that don't know I could put that on the other side I feel like it'd be a bit awkward to park the hydro cropper like right here I did have a bit of a plan for this the hydro cropper has got like a like a spout it sucks up all the crops and then uses the spout to like spit them back out my idea was to have a platform like... No, wait, hang on, I can do this, like that. So I can use the spout to dump veggies here, and it will go up and over in that way. Oh god, I hope that works. And then... I don't want to have another one here is another issue as well because if I have a conveyor belt like that and another one of them there guaranteed the veggies are going to get caught in the middle so I've, I've got at least one one conveyor spare here don't I I guess that's fine it, it's not horrible is it it might actually work. Now, let's see how I'm going to... Good God, I'm going to have to move all these again, aren't I? Let's see how I'm actually going to power this. Right, I just went and brought a bunch of stuff. I was doing the very dangerous thing called thinking, in which I, I figured if I'm running a line of pipes down and under here... I might as well keep them underground all the way up to like there. There's no reason to have them above ground really, is there? If it'll let me do that, it will be awesome, sir. I am a little bit concerned that the ground will be uneven. But I can always level it back out with the the rake later, can't I? Like I make this over here as level as I could with the rake. It is a still a little bit bumpy, but no big deal. It's a farm. If I grab that and... Oh god, there we go. Grab one of these. 
I can spend the next 10 minutes rotating it. Uh, like that. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah, then I can put these straight pipes all the way under there. Like this. Yeah, I think this is going to work out. Look at me. Okay, there's that pipe. Just pop that down there. Oh god, I hope I can rake all this so it doesn't look awful. If not, maybe I'll, I'll just put some floor down. There we go. So that goes there. I'm going to need another two, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. Let's grab those. Have I brought enough of these pipes? I may have to go and get some more, you know. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to go get more. Then I can... Oh no, that's... That needs to go... There? Yes, it needs to go there. So let's get a curved piece and... Uh, pop that in. Like so. I don't like pickaxing this ground, but I also don't like jamming things underneath the ground where I can't see them. If I put it one block lower than I intend to, it's, it's going to cause more problems than it's worth. Do that. Yeah, this is... This is a much better plan rather than having it all like above ground. I don't mind so much of the conveyor belts because it's off to one side. I don't really want it blocking the entrance to the mine. Okay. No, I didn't buy enough straight pipes. All right, done and dusted. I put the extra pipes in. I replaced that floor. All I really need to do now is rake the ground back into place and set everything going. I put a power shard in there. This should all operate on its own. Let's just see how things go with that. Oh, oh, what's going on? What's what's going on with you guys? Why aren't you doing the thing? There we go. Is there a power shard under here? There is. You can kind of tell because there's like a little glow. Yeah, there isn't one there. Anyway, yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah, it all seems to be running. Look at this thing. Look at it. Choppy, choppy, chop. Okay, yeah, that, that seems pretty awesome. Let's actually get it running somewhat. I'm gonna have to chop like one of each veg. So that should work, right? I can take the hydro cropper out, gather a bunch of veggies. I can use the spout on it to drop them on here and it will send them along here and get sorted and then into the compressors. All right, let's let's just give it a trial run. You drop that on there, goes along there, gets chopped, gets sorted, and boop. Let me, oh, good God, game, please. Let me just do another one. Goes along there, along here, gets chopped. Get sorted and yeah, it combines like that. I don't know, don't know what the compressors actually do. I'm sure there's a function I just don't understand. Let me see if it works with the carrots. Oh come on, you damn bloody carrot! There we go. Again, it goes along there. It's chopped. It's sorted and dropped on there. This, you notice it's off to the side a little bit, which is why I wanted the 
the centralizers there. Do I not have the centralizers on these? Oh no, I don't. I thought I had centralizers on all of these. It's kind of annoying you can't put those next to each other, but I guess that's fine. Let's grab another carrot. Put that on there, goes along there, choppy chop. Comes along, salted, and combines. Wicked. That is awesome cake. But uh, yeah, I'm going to leave things there for this episode of Hydrenir. Like and subscribe if you didn't do that already, and leave your comments down in the comments section. Always good to read comments. So thank you to all the people that do that for me that do that for me anyway it's two video tuesday we had thrive and we had this hydron here if you come back tomorrow i'll be doing some more unturned i'll see you then